Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the Schoolcraft College Vista Tech Center. We are glad you joined us for this Livonia Chamber of Commerce Candidate Forum featuring candidates of the leading Democratic Party candidates pursuing the office of Wayne County Executive. My name is Dan West, the President of the Livonia Chamber of Commerce, and I will be your moderator this evening. This forum is designed to be an informational program to give the business managers and residents in Livonia and along the I-275 corridor a chance to learn more about the candidates running for Wayne County Executive in the Democratic Party primary election taking place Tuesday, August 5th. The Livonia Chamber of Commerce is a nonpartisan, nonprofit organization that promotes the Livonia business community and advocates for our 860 members. The Livonia Chamber of Commerce does not endorse any candidates. We thank everyone in the audience this evening for coming out to join us and to all the candidates for their participation this evening. Tonight we will hold a 90-minute forum for, the four, for four of the leading candidates competing for the Democratic Party nomination for Wayne County Executive. The Chamber's Government Affairs Committee established the format and the initial questions for the forum. Members of the audience are invited to ask questions of the County Executive candidates by submitting them on three by five cards and handing them to the end of their seating row to Chamber volunteers and staff at the ends of the row. The cards will be screened to prevent questions that are redundant, inaccurate, or personal. Questions should be directed to all the candidates. We, ask, we will ask as many questions as time permits. It's now time to introduce the four candidates who joined us this evening. First, the Mayor of Westland, William Wild. <laughs> Wayne County Commissioner, Kevin McNamara. <laughs> Michigan State Representative, Phil Cavanaugh. <laughs> and Wayne County Executive, Robert Ficano. Former Wayne County Sheriff Warren Evans initially committed to participate in this forum, but we were informed this morning that he would not be joining us this evening. The winner of the August 5th primary election will face the winner of the Republican primary in the November general election. The eventual winner will earn a four-year term as the Chief Executive Officer for Wayne County, Michigan's largest county. In this forum, each candidate will be invited to make a 90-second opening statement where each candidate will be asked to explain where, why they are the best candidate to lead Wayne County at this time. Each candidate will have one minute to respond to questions and a 90 second closing statement. The candidates are arranged in order of numbers that were drawn prior to this forum. Accordingly, we will rotate the order in which each candidate responds to a question first. Laura Sweeney and uh, Don Topa from our chamber staff will be in the front row doing the timekeeping. And we got Marcia Bianconi um, from the Conference of West Wayne serving as our question screener this evening. To move this form along and maximize the time for questions, we ask that all members of the audience refrain from any outbursts or applause to any of the candidate responses. So with that, we will begin our forum with Mayor Wild. Well, good evening, everybody. And thank you, Dan, and thank you, the Livonia Chamber of Commerce, for putting this event on tonight. My name is Bill Wild. I'm the mayor of the city of Westland. I'm a full-time mayor. I've been the mayor of Westland for the last seven years. Uh, prior to being the mayor, I served on the Westland City Council for six years and two years on the Planning Commission. I'm also a small business owner here in Wayne County. I own an automotive recycling business in the city of Wayne, and we just celebrated our 25th anniversary. I'm also a proud husband. My wife's here tonight. She's sitting right down in the third row. We uh, working on 15 years of marriage, and we have three small children. She's a school teacher, sixth grade science. The reason I'm running for Wayne County Executive is because I think that our county can do better. I think as taxpayers, as residents, that we deserve better leadership than we've been getting out of the Wayne County Executive's office. Wayne County should be the most dynamic county in not only the state, but in the, the entire country. We've got more assets here than anywhere else. But as a county, we've been marred in scandals, we've been marred in corruption, and we've, we've, been, stuck in, we've been stuck in neutral for a long time. We've become defined by our failures. I've turned around the city of Westland in the, in the toughest of times the last seven years. We face the same challenges that Wayne County faces. We're the only city in Wayne County that has a three-year balanced budget with a $5.5 million surplus. In a county that's screaming out for new leadership, I believe that my candidacy offers us a fresh chance 
to move forward. Thank you. Opening statement to Commissioner Kavanaugh. I mean, McNamara, sorry. Thank you. Don't do that anymore. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kevin McNamara. I'm running for Wayne County Executive. Um, I, I, I'm really happy to be in Schoolcraft because this is where I've got my started as a trustee. I was a Schoolcraft College trustee. My name's on the plaque outside this room. I then went on to be a county commissioner eight years ago where I became the chairman of public services and I oversee, uh, fortunately, roads. We're working on it, but bridges and buildings and parks. I also am chairman of Head Start Services, which is preschool children in Wayne County. I'm also the chairman of audit on the, um, as a board of director at the airport. And I'm also chairman of the finance committee at SUMCOG, Southeast Michigan's Council of Governments, where we oversee about a $13 million budget and pass through about a billion dollars worth of federal money to this area. The point is, everywhere I go, leaders in politics, the leaders in the government have picked me to be a chairman of most of their budgets. Um, all my budgets have been balanced. I have a plan that is, I have a plan to rebuild Wayne County, get rid of the services that we don't need, quit, talk, quit telling the communities what services they're going to get, and start asking the communities what services they need. I believe, that, I believe that my plan is solid. 150 local elected officials have already signed on to our campaign because they know the plan and they like the plan and they know it'll work. Thank you. Opening statement to Representative Kavanaugh. Good evening. I'm Philip Kavanaugh. I'm a state representative of District 10, which is all of Redford in Northwest Detroit. I was a Wayne County Commissioner from 2001 to 2008 and not only voted against but spoke very loudly about a lot of the things that we're reading about in the paper and the FBI's looking into. But being in Schoolcraft College, I'd like to exemplify that our next Wayne County Executive needs a strong, vast, uh, extensive education. Uh, when my three children were born, I said, I'm not making enough money and what, you know, in order to uh, expand your options, you go to school. And I, I went and got my JD and my MBA uh, in three and a half years. And those are the kind of tools that we really need. We need somebody with the experience, with education, and the relationships. Uh, again, I got the education. I went to the Wayne County Commission. And based on having a legal background and a financial background, I was on Ways and Means Committee overseeing a better than $2 billion budget for the entire eight years I was there. Up at the State House, I see shortcomings that aren't being fulfilled uh, in Wayne County, and I pushed the governor and the attorney general to bring programs to Wayne County, such as uh, increased public safety and fighting insurance and mental health programs. I'll expound later, but Philip Cavanaugh, and I'm honored to be here. Opening statement to Execu Executive Ficano. Thank you. First of all, I want to thank Schoolcraft College and the Livonia Chamber. Being a lifelong uh, Livonia resident, having graduated from Stevenson High School, I appreciate uh, being close to home uh, compared to a lot of where these uh, debates have been. Uh, first of all, uh, let me uh, dispel some rumors, and you'll probably hear some of the discussion here this evening, but why I'm running is, number one, Wayne County is not going to have an emergency manager. You don't even hear that talked about anymore in the press. Everybody said it couldn't be done. We got a tentative approval by the state and we have a board of commissioners that passed the plan and is now uh, being implemented. Number two, and this will come up too, the jail, the jail's gonna get built, and it's gonna get built in one of two locations, but it is gonna get built, and it's because I sued and stopped it, and then at this point it's gonna be referred back uh, to the uh, commission, it is gonna get built. Uh, I've had uh, the primary thing that I've tried to push uh, during all of my administrations has been jobs. And Wayne County has been very active. Anywhere from the Aerotropolis around the airport, there's $500 million of investment that has happened there. We also have helped local communities. Westland, we've done a couple projects in, including MJR. But right here in Livonia, Seven Mile and Middle Belt, Wayne County is responsible for helping to help that uh, particular shopping center come back to life uh, with some of the programs that uh, we've been able to, uh, to implement. Uh, we also at this point had a number of auto jobs that we've been helping uh, to bring back, anywhere from the Wayne Assembly Plant, the Trenton Engine Plant, and we'll list the others. Thank you uh, for the opportunity here. So. Great. Thank you, gentlemen. The uh, first question will begin with uh, Commissioner McNamara. Why do you want this job at this time? Thank you. Thank you. I, 
I actually have a very distinct vision of what Wayne County could be in the future. Wayne County has been run the same way for 50 years. They basically told you what services you're going to get. And this might work fine for small uh, upper peninsula counties. But Wayne County has matured over the years. It was a time when Livonia needed Wayne County to tell them how to, how to perform the work there, how to, how to work their engineering departments, how to work their senior citizens uh, groups. 30 seconds, really. The long story short is <laughs> we, have to start, we have to sit down and go through these services one by one and decide what services we're going to continue providing and, get, and keep those and fund them. We have to get rid of the services that the communities no longer want us butting in on because we're getting in Livonia's way more than we're not getting in Livonia's way. We have to make Wayne County smaller and more service providing. Representative Kavanaugh. Wayne County is at a financial crisis and I have conversations with the Department of Treasury at the state of Michigan. Um, so the state is still looking at Wayne County because there are many benchmarks by which they could appoint an emergency manager. One is a continuous structural deficit of 30 to 40 million dollars that has happened since 2008, coincidentally when I left the, the county commission. The other is when I left the county commission in 2008, the pension program was 108 percent funded. It is now 47. There, an emergency manager can be applied for either of those. We need to take care of our own finances and we need somebody that can go to Lansing and say we can handle our own business. Give us time, there's new leadership. I am that person. As far as public services to the outlining, the municipality should look to county government for support. County government is too expensive. That's the only reason why they say Wayne County get out, out, out of our business. So. Executive Ficano. Yes, there's still a, a lot that I wanna complete and the number one reason is the same reason why I became county executive 12 years ago. I'm hoping that none of you ever have to get on a plane to go and see your grandchildren. Uh, the primary thing that we want to do is to make sure that there's availability and you feel comfortable in your family and your grandchildren and your children raise their families here just like you did because there's those opportunities. And that's what I've stressed and will continue to stress when I talk about jobs. Uh, anywhere from the Magna plant that I brought in with 400 jobs, again I mentioned the Aerotropolis, the Wayne Assembly plant, uh, but also to finish and to show that we are not going to have an emergency manager. That's not even in the cards right now. And to finish the jail, because I know that's going to be done, uh, the commission probably isn't going to vote until after the uh, primary, but there is a path to that getting done, and it is going to get done. And Mayor Wild. Dan, the, the question was, why, why do I want this job right now? It, it's, it's very simple. I, I'm wild about Wayne County. That, that's one thing. That's what gets me up every day. It gets me out on the campaign trail. But it's more than that. I think that we deserve better. I think that we can do better. I think that we can do better delivering services. I think we can do better on the roads. I think we can do better cutting the grass you see along the side of the expressways. I think we could do a better job at bringing economic development to this region. I think we could do better as a county helping the 43 cities that are in, in Wayne County. I can tell you I've got the experience is, is in the city of Westland. I've got proven results. We've turned our city around. What I would want to do is take the talents that I've, the, the, the things that I've learned as, as the mayor of the city of Westland, bring those to the county, help these other 43 communities that need help. And I can tell you, I don't think that there is a job that prepares you to be the county executive better than being the full-time mayor of a large city. 